I wanted to return to the health care debate in the program just briefly and it, in what would appear to be, I guess, an unpopular move based on the calls that I've had to this program. Treasury Joe Hockey in the recent budget flagged a co-payment policy where bulk bill patients would be asked to pay $7 each time they visited the doctor. Now, the measure was designed to try and curb the overuse of medical services. However, the co-payment itself, as it became unpopular at the beginning and they could see it, would then would change in its uh, makeup and be used to fund medical research and development. While I think most people see the need for reining in services that threaten to run away from us in terms of costs, the co-payment was seen by many as a tax on people getting sick. And in that climate, the 50 Up Club, who are a consumer buying group set up through this radio station, went out and surveyed their membership base. And some of you who are members have probably filled out the survey. In fact, they surveyed 10,000 members aged 50 or over. And what they found was rather interesting, not necessarily in keeping or consistent with the kinds of calls we've got on the open line. 70% of respondents are prepared to contribute to health care costs if it will help balance the budget. So they see the long-term benefit. But 30% say the co-payments will force them to avoid the local GP with many going to the local hospital instead. And that is the last thing we need. While 40% of people say that co-payments combined with high-priced private health insurance will change the way they vote at the next election. Watch out, Joe Hockey. Now, the clear message coming out of this being, while people do accept health care needs to become more sustainable and across the board co-payment is seen as hitting the sick, poor and vulnerable most. Now, 50 Up Club which is supported by this station, will take the findings to Health Minister Peter Dutton. And I thought, given the depth of research here, I'd speak to 50 Up Club Chairman John Mangos, who's on the line right now. G'day, John. Hello, Chris. Always good to talk to you. How are you going? I'm very well. Thanks, to, uh, thanks for your time. So you've identified a new issue here. People aren't opposed to paying a little bit more to see the doctor, but they are opposed to a blunt across-the-board $7 co-payment, right? Yeah, that's right. And I can confirm, uh, you mentioned Joe Hockey, and I've been chasing the Federal Health Minister for some time now. I can confirm, as of a few minutes ago, I am meeting him officially uh, this time next week at 10 o'clock on the 6th of August. And as you say, I will take this survey of 10,050 Up Club members. Bear in mind, we've got 90, more than 90,000 members. And within days, 10,000 are so concerned that they filled in our short survey. And you've just mentioned the results. It's good news and it's bad news. The good, the in-principle support, most of us are happy to pay it a little bit extra if it helps balance the budget. But as you quite rightly point out, the political impact, 40% saying that the co-payments and health insurance price rises are likely to change how they vote at the next election. I don't think the Minister's going to like hearing that. Does, does that indicate to you that Joe Hockey and Tony Abbott may have uh, created a real dangerous situation for their party and the government given this one policy? Well, it's obviously, it's, it's obviously a lot more passionate policy than I think they've given it credit for. Yeah. Now, you, you just have to do the maths. And, and um, I'll just break out, drill down into our survey a little bit. One of the questions, how many times a year on average do you go and see a GP? Now, 19.65%, 20%, one in five of us say more than 10 times a year. Okay? Yeah. Talk about, let's say, let's call it 12 times. At $7 a co-payment, there's $84. And that's before the doctor refers you to an x-ray or to pathology or to a specialist. So it's going to add up pretty quickly. It's not just like $7 here and there. Um, if most, if like one in five of us are seeing the doctor more than 10 times a year, it kind of speaks for itself when you do the math. Yeah, but are we, are we seeing a doctor too often? Uh, well, I guess that's, an, that's another question. Are we seeing the doctor too often? I mean, that was the biggest, more than 10 times was the, um, was the biggest yeah. uh, number that came back. Yeah. Um, 16.41% of people uh, said they saw the doctor about four times a year. So I guess the reality is somewhere in between. Yeah, okay. Four, it's a, it's a great bit of research. It's a great piece of research, and I know, that, I know that Peter Dutton, and in particular Joe Hockey, will be very interested in what your members have had to say. I've run out of time, but thank you, John. All the very best for your August meeting. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Chris, and, and please urge uh, our listeners to, to... The more people who join 50upclub.com, the bigger our voice, the bigger the numbers, the more power we have. Sure do. All right, 50 Up Club Chairman John Mangos.